Pastos Biology. Topics from the Study Guide. Another concept that we need to understand to understand atoms and molecules is the concept of the mole. This is item number 8 on page 2.8 in your study guide. What is a mole? Well, first of all, it's not a little furry animal crawling around in the ground. It's actually a measure of the number of molecules. And it's pretty straightforward. It's the weight of a compound in grams equal to its molecular weight. Now, how much is that? How many particles is it? Well, it's a huge number. Something like 6.024 times 10 to the 23rd power, or 600 billion trillion molecules, an inconceivably large number. Uh, we call this Avogadro's number. Now, what's important about a mole? Well, what's important is that a mole of two different compounds contain exactly the same number of molecules. Now, that's not a difficult idea to grasp. Consider something a little different. Let's assume a mole has only four molecules instead of 600 billion trillion. And let's assume, which is correct, glucose molecules are bigger than sodium chloride molecules. Well, if you were to weigh out a mole of glucose, wouldn't it weigh more because they're bigger than the mole of sodium chloride? Or take something simpler. Let's say we have four basketballs and four tennis balls. Well, that would be a mole of each, if a mole had only four balls each. The mole of basketballs would weigh more than the mole of tennis balls. We'll have more to say about mole as we progress further. But let's mention that uh, two of the common compounds that we talk about are glucose and sodium chloride. Glucose has a molecular weight of 180, therefore a mole of glucose would be 180 grams. So if you're in a laboratory, what you do is get your scales out and a, a weighing pan and a jar of glucose and pour it into the scale and weigh out 180 grams. You now have a mole. Sodium chloride has a molecular weight of 58.2. Therefore, one mole of sodium chloride is 58.2 grams. Now it turns out that a mole is entirely too large for living systems. So we usually refer to one one thousandth of a mole, which is a millimole. Now one other important idea is the idea of a molar solution. It's also pretty easy. You take a mole of a compound, put it in a beaker, and add enough water to make a liter solution. That would be a one molar solution. 